Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use Auto Sketch to create the Matisse shape cutout. So you want to start with a project. If you haven't done it yet, make a new sketch. The size is 864 by 648. Now I've already started one here. Just in case you didn't know, you use two fingers to pinch in and pinch out. You can zoom in or out of your, your background. So what you're going to do is you're going to color a bunch of solid colored backgrounds that we will then use to make the cutouts. I've already made one and hopefully you can see that it's not solid blue. It has variations and that's what we want. To make a new layer, on the right hand side, click the plus sign, you have a new layer. I'm going to hide the blue one by clicking on the eye icon. Now that one's no longer visible. On this next one, I want to make a sandy color. I'm making a beach scene. This brush, in case you're curious, is the coarse watercolor brush. Actually has a nice looking sandy color. To make another color, hide that layer, click the plus sign, pick another color. I want a light blue color for the water. You can use, it doesn't matter what, what brush you use. There's all different ones that you can use. You can also change the size of the brush. There, making this one larger. Now, if you accidentally make the layer too solid, like I did here, just go in with a different color. I'm going to add white, lighter. You can have more than one color in it, and that will help give the variation. Okay, so you're gonna continue making all your colors. Then when it's time to cut your pieces out, click on a layer, only have that one visible. I have the light blue visible. Up at the top, the rectangle with the arrow is the selection tool. And there are these different types of selections. We're going to use the first one, the lasso tool. How this works is wherever you put your pen that's where you're drawing. I know it can look a little weird like this, but concentrate on where your pen is. To deselect anything that you've done, if you don't like it, click on the last one. It has the red dot on it. That gets rid of it. So I'm going to make a little teeny wave. I'm just going to focus where my pen is. Make this little wave. Connect it. Then click on the layer. It has to be that same color layer and click on copy click on the plus sign make a new layer click on that new layer and then choose paste and it is now pasted there in order to see it I'm going to hide the light blue layer click on the eye icon and there's the blue shape you can move it around you have to make sure that layer is selected which it is Go up to the top where you see these four arrows. Now there's a few things you can do. The first one is transform. If you click on that, it distorts the shape. So you get some really interesting, weird looking shapes if you want. Kind of distorted that a little too much. Okay, the next one is nudge. This is the one you can move it all around. You can also 
flip it horizontally or flip it vertically and this one rotates it. When you're done, click done. Now it stays there until you have to get the selection tool. I really don't want it there. I probably want it over there. Okay. Let me get down to my sand layer. I'm going to make that visible and I'm going to make the shape for the beach. Click the selection tool, lasso tool. I want the beach down here. Click on the layer, go to copy, add a new layer, click on it, paste, click done. Then I'm going to hide the sand layer so I can see it. Have all your shapes up at the top of your layers. To move it, just press on it until it turns light like that did. Move it up, let it go. So it's up at the top. Now I'm going to make my light blue visible. So that's over there. Let me hide those. I'm going to make the dark blue visible and make a large ocean. Get the selection tool. Click on the layer. Go to copy, add a new layer, click on it, go to paste, click done. Drag that all the way up the top. Hide the dark blue layer so I can see it. Now make the sand visible and my light blue layer visible. Now the light blue layer isn't showing up because it's underneath the blue layer. The way these layers go, the order, whatever is on the top up here is on top here. So I have my blue layer and the sand is underneath it and so is the light blue, but I want that above. I'm gonna click on it, drag it above. Now it's on top. I can do that with the sand too if I want to. Put that above. Now, if you have a shape that you can, oops, did not wanna do that. You can duplicate it. Click on a layer, you click on duplicate, it's automatically in its own layer now. To move it, I just have to get the move tool so I can move that, let me flip it. Okay, so keep going and keep cutting out shapes until your entire design is done.